let's have a walkthrough of what this amazing software program can do. So as we've already discovered, this app is all about finding leads, but not only that. It's then about automating what happens to those leads, making sure that they get followed up and making sure that action is taken. So the first thing that we need to look, look at is how Discover searches. So let's, for example, say that uh, you're running a program and, and you're having good success with, I don't know, building companies. So I might put in here, builders, something like that. And then I can click on the search. Now there's different ways of searching. I'm going to show you a few different ways because it returns different information. So let's start with Facebook. Let's say any building companies that have a Facebook page, let's start with those and see what we can come up with. And we're going to look in a particular location. So I'm just going to choose somewhere here. I don't know, uh, Denver as a, as a starting point. Okay, now I can do lots of other search stuff here with searching only show me ones with certain amount of clicks and that kind of stuff. But we will just run this search for now. Okay, so we've got some builders company that came up in half a second there. Now, I only want really to, to look further into the ones that have got the web addresses for this demonstration. So I'm going to go here, but there's lots of opportunity straight away. I can see that these people don't even have web addresses linked to their Facebook page. There's an opportunity. They, they need to hear from you. All right, so I've got uh, uh, these guys. I'm going to run the analysis. And this is where the magic of Discover really starts to kick in. So as I'm talking, this page behind me here, this will this will start to populate with the information from these companies. And you'll see the different things starting to fill in as it's going there. But while it's searching, have a look here. The first thing that it's noticing are contact email addresses for these specific companies, immediately giving us a way that we can get in touch with these companies. What else can we see on this dashboard? Very quickly, we can see if we've got more than 10 index pages, more than 20 uh, known backlinks. We can see are they ranking in the Google top 20 for anything? Do they have mobile responsive sites or not? Do they have videos? Lots of them don't, so there's some opportunities. Are they running ads? Do they have a Twitter profile, LinkedIn, Facebook profiles linked? Can we see that information? So that's what we can see straight away from a glance. Now, if I click into any one of these companies, I can go directly to their website, or if I click and actually go within depth of Discover, I can find out a lot more about them. For a start, I can find out how big their company is. I can see their Twitter profile, and I can see that these guys don't have one. That's a great opportunity. Not only that, I've got the contact email address. Are they mobile responsive and video embedded? No. Do they have a LinkedIn profile? No. What else can we find out about these guys? We've got some links coming from other companies back to them, so we can start to see the anchor text and what sort of SEO scores they're getting here. That's really cool information. But I can also start to see the external backlinks. Do they have H1 tags in the SEO? world. I can start to see what words are they ranking for and where do they rank. So I can actually see, for example, what they're scoring and what they're ranking for and I can see any ads that are running and what pages they're pointing to of that particular site. Really cool information. So let me go back a screen. So I can see that with every single client. Now I want to show you a few other different searches and then we're going to talk about what we do with those leads and how the magic of Discover really will take these leads and move them forward. Because what if you don't sell SEO services? What if you're not into video marketing? What if if you're not into social media marketing. I'll show you how we can work those things through as well. So let's say, for example, that uh, you, um, let's take a, a personal example. I was uh, publishing a lot of information recently and I wanted to turn it into a Kindle book and uh, I really didn't know how. Now, I found out that that's a big industry with lots of people who have uh, public, publishable works, but I didn't really know um, that there was so many people looking and, and not understanding. Now, if you had a small application or a service that you could run, helping people to self-publish, you could do really well. So that's just, again, a personal example. I want you to use your own example. But if I wanted to do that kind of search, I wanted to find people who were looking for news or information about self-publishing. So I could type in here, self-publishing, there it is. And instead of searching in Facebook, what if this time I wanted to search in Twitter? Because that's going to give me the people that mention the word self-publishing and they will then be the people that I can approach to talk about my service. So again, there we go. And I've got all these leads that I can have a look at and I can start to do the same thing. Now let me do one more personal example with you. We run a company called Webinar Geo. So we've got a program that we sell which is a webinar or sales online presentation platform. What we've found is that we've got really good success with sales management companies. Okay, so we talk to them about um, their tools and we offer our online presentation software and it's been working really well for us. So in that example, I might look for sales management, but I'm not going to look in Facebook and I'm not really going to show, uh, I'm not going to look in Twitter. What I want to look for in this case, because I'm looking for professional organizations, is LinkedIn. 
So what if I could look in LinkedIn and find companies that meet a particular criteria and I could work on approaching them? Now, what's interesting is nowhere in LinkedIn can you find the email address of the people that you wanted to talk to. But watch this. If I just grab three or four of these companies and I'll just uh, pick a few at random and I run that analysis, the first thing we're going to see is that Discover goes out and finds the contact email addresses for those people immediately. Now from here, this is where I wanted to talk to you about the amazing automation that happens with the Discover app. So imagine if I've, I've done my search, I've found some people, I've done some pre-qualification and looked in and seen that this is the kind of person or the kind of company I want to approach. So I'm going to say these guys are my ideal customers. I'm going to say yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Now, watch what happens from here. I'm going to add these people to a pipeline. Now, this is a pipeline I set up before called Sales Managers. Now, I've got a few different uh, stages, and I'll show you those stages in just a second. What's a stage of a sales pipeline? We move them through a process. First, they're a prospect. Then they become a hot prospect. Then they become someone interested, and then they become a customer. So I want to move them into a Sales Managers pipeline at a particular stage. So let's go and have a look at our our projects and our pipelines right now. So if I go down to my sales manager, here's those leads. Okay, now I can create lots of different stages within my sales manager pipeline. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to create my next stage is uh, I've been in touch. I've been in touch. So I've spoken to them. Great. I'm going to drop that in there. My next stage might be um, they're interested. I've got an appointment. Can you see what I mean? So we go from we go from being a lead to been in touch. They're interested. We've got an appointment. Okay. So I'm, I've got all these stages of my sales pipeline. Now watch what happens. We're using my automation and my rules. I can create new rules for those leads hitting each stage. And let me show you what that means. So say for example that I've dropped them in as potential leads. Now what happens there, I might be wanting to get in touch with them, I want to send them an initial email. So I want to say anybody that's at the sales managers in that initial lead stage, connect them to a particular autoresponder and connect them to that particular list. Okay, and let's save that rule. So now what's going to happen is, as soon as they become leads and I've done that initial approach, they're going to get that initial email, they're going to go into a pipeline. But what happens from there is I can create a whole bunch of new rules. And this is where it gets really exciting. Check this out. Our integration with Zapier or Zapier. And Zapier is the world's largest automi automation central platform. And there's heaps of um, free apps and free zaps that you can do here. So for example, when I uh, create them as a lead and I move them through my funnel, add them to a Slack channel. <gasps> wow, add them to a particular audience in a Facebook page. Send them a tweet. Add them to uh, Salesforce CRM or my Zoho CRM. Add them to uh, Infusionsoft or any of, my, um, any of my autoresponder systems that are in here. Contact them on LinkedIn. What about sending them a tweet? All right, um, dropping them into all kinds of different automation can happen right here directly from your Discover app. And let me show you how easy this is. So I've got my, I've set up my rule. These people are going to get my, uh, my first initial email as it comes through. So let's say that I've, I've got these people, they've, they've uh, responded to my email, and what I want to do is these guys, this particular one, they've, we've been in touch, so I literally can just move them across to here. And then what if they come back and they say they're interested and I can literally move them across to that area here. And can you see that with my automation, when I set a new rule that maybe that particular client or that particular pipeline, when the lead hits the stage that they're interested, I want to automatically register them for a webinar and send them the link. Now I can do that using my Zapier integration. I can use that with all the webinar tools that are out there that are linked back into Zapier, including Webinar Geo, our own platform. So imagine that, that somebody's moved through a pipeline as simple as dragging and dropping. So let me grab that again. As simple as dragging and dropping. And as soon as they reach a particular stage, they get automatically registered for a webinar. Or they get the next follow-up in the series. They get to go, they get to escalate. So as easy as dragging from one to the next, you are then taking someone from an interested party all the way through to the next level. And of course, if they're not interested, you're going to drop them out of the funnel right here. Now, what's really cool is you can then set Discover to run those searches for you automatically. So what happens is 
Discover will sit and run for you. All of those searches that we just talked about. And it will run them 24-7. You can say how often you want Discover to go out and find new leads and at what platform. At what criteria are we going to add them to which pipeline? So Discover will automatically sit in the background for you, making those leads initially hit your, your sales pipeline. And from that point, you can then move them through automatically in your sales process so that they get the right follow-up, they get the right information, they get sent a link for a video, they get to opt into a particular system, they get an automatic registration to a webinar, and they move through your sales process. And all the time, Discover is working in the background with the automation and the rules, delivering back to you leads, and those leads then getting qualified, those qualified Qualified leads then moving through your sales pipeline into your system to make sure that they're getting the information. Now that's the key. Because Discover's been built to run with automation and smart technology. Because what it means for you is you'll be able to find leads. You'll be able to find leads 24-7. You'll be able to follow those leads up, approach those leads, and move them through your sales process automatically giving you more time to do the higher value activities and reducing the drudge work of the initial sales approaches and the lead generation. That's what we've built Discover for. I'm super excited to be able to deliver this software into your hands. It's taken us 18 months to put together. And coming from a sales background, we've created this program deliberately because we know how important finding leads are and then how important working with those leads to be able to move them through an automated process so that nothing falls through the cracks. Welcome to Discover. Grab this program right now and put it to work for you. You can have it running searches 24-7. You can have new leads coming into your funnel starting now. And now's your chance to step up and take action and grab this incredible program and start putting those rules into place so that every single lead gets the right information from you right at the right time. Welcome to Discover. I look forward to seeing you on the inside.